sponsored by Bangta, sustainable business development in harmony with the environment and society. Siam Commercial Bank. Welcome back to ASEAN One, and in this break, we'll take you to see how the flood prevention wall worked in Nawanakorn and how they pledged to ensure investors' confidence will be regained. And here I am at the simulating site of uh, the flood prevention wall of Nawanakorn industry estate. And this site is used to demonstrate the efficiency of the flood prevention wall. So, Kunipit Kap, would you please tell me the overall picture of the the simulating site to test the efficiency of the flood wall? Uh, this simulating site is in the area of uh, around 1,800 square meters. Right. Uh, it contains around 4,500 uh, cubic meters of water. Mm -hmm. And as you can see that we filled in the water up to the level of 5.2 meters uh, mean sea levels. While last year the flood was coming up at the 7.4.7 uh, meters. Right. So this is another 50 centimeters above last year flooded. And also we have this uh, uh, water pushing, I would say, that to make the wave, this machine to make the wave, to imitate uh, the wave that will impact the wall, mm -hmm. uh, to show that uh, the wall can bearing the force of the water that's coming also. Right. And how long does it take um, you to build uh, the flood prevention wall surrounding the industrial estate? Uh, five and a half months. Right. And of the 20.6 kilometers. Mm -hmm. What kind of materials do you uh, use? It's uh, reinforced concrete. It's a prefabricated system. Right. And also, besides the permanent flood wall here, what other measures do you take to prevent the possible flood this year and in the future? Uh, besides this the flood protection wall, as I say, that we also have the, the pumping additional pumping station and also we enlarge the, the canals inside and, mm -hmm. and all, all the water floodway. Right. And uh, do you think, are you confident that, that this kind of action can restore and regain confidence among investors? I'm, I'm very confident and I think uh, most of the uh, factories and investors that are with us are, are quite confident on, on what we have done. Mm -hmm. One last question, please. Um, what lessons have you learned from last year flooding and from the administration under the current government? Um, one of the problems last year is that uh, we don't really know the fact and information mm -hmm. uh, to get the right way to protect. Uh, for example, that we, we, we didn't fall the water level we come at about four to four point two meters for the most. That, that, that the level of the dike that we are doing for protect but it's come more than that, you know. Right. Maybe not uh, government fault but I don't know, it's some kind of the uh, problem that we force. Mm -hmm. And a lot of uh, when it's a crisis time like that it's so difficult to find materials and factories. Right. Well, thank you so much for joining my program today. You're welcome. Top and top. As over 50% of the investors in Nwanakon Industrial Estate are Japanese, now let's hear some of the reaction from one of them on how he is actually confident in the permanent flood measure prevention wall and the plans to expand business in Thailand. Company. Our company was established for about 22 years ago in Nwanakon. And uh, our operation is uh, mainly to produce heat exchanger for refrigerator. Nanako company acting uh, uh, many activities such as cleaning inside uh, uh, industrial estate or to repair road inside uh, industrial estate. Though. <coughs> I remember uh, power supply was very first comparing to another uh, industrial estate, I think. This will be very efficient to protect from flooding. 
At first, I heard this uh, idea uh, last December from JICA. And uh, <coughs> also, I heard from a uh, nanocon company. Maybe 5.5 meter height uh, is sufficient, I think. So do you think this action taken by Nawanakon company can regain and build confidence among investors, particularly foreign investors? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I think uh, this time flooding uh, is occurs uh, once per 100 years. And uh, um, I think this is a very good experience for us and for Thai people. And I uh, feel, I feel uh, response of Thai people is very first and very strongly uh, everyone uh, cooperate with us. In the future, eh, I want to expand another business in Thailand. But now, now <laughs> uh, my duty is to recover fully uh, of our company and uh, to respond to a customer's request. And also, I think it's very important to take care of our employee. Some Japanese company m moved to East, east uh, but I think uh, uh, Nawanakon area is a very uh, attractive place uh, to to gather uh, working workers. Uh, when uh, we moved to east, maybe it's very difficult to gather uh, operators. I think. And this has been Towards 2015. Right, and on our next break, Mellow Me by Nina, chic cookouts and stylish dishes around the ASEAN region.